mate. Ed Woodward, mate. Ed fucking Woodward, lad. Stop, mate. Ed Woodward, stop doing your fucking shitty interviews for fucking MUTV coming out, telling the whole fucking world how Man United are the biggest fucking club in the fucking world. Mate, when we, you can't even get a fucking deal done, mate, fucking a deal to fucking get over the line to save your fucking life. You've had over 12 months to get the fucking deals done for fucking Ander Herrera and fucking Luke Shaw. Fucking Davey Moyes, one of these blokes, fucking more than 12 months ago. And, mate, have a look at the fucking teams we are competing against for this title. I say competing because we used to be a club that were competing, but the teams that are competing now, have a look at our fucking neighbours. Mate, if they're not busy fucking making signings on fucking world-class players, mate, they're fucking busy, mate, re-signing the world-class players they already fucking have. Fuck me dead. Ed Woodward, sort your fucking shit out, lad. That was fucking six years ago. Over. I looked there at a kid... Six years ago, fucking passionate, would fucking do anything for his fucking club. Bit fired up, up I was there at the fucking time. It's over six years ago, and we're having the exact same conversations. Yeah? Our lack of ambition to sign better players. I fucking said it in there. You're more interested about commercial deals. Nothing's changed. They're more interested about... SEOs and you know retweets and how good our brand is on social media It's what they care about Look at our competition. I said it in that video our competition <clears throat> The teams around us are all spending the cash. They all have intent to get better We just qualified for the Champions League and what did we get? Didn't get Jaden Sancho, which I might just say We were competing against no other club to get him, okay? Forget it now. Next summer, he's gone. He's gone Liverpool. He's gone man, Real Madrid. You can go wherever he wants. He ain't coming to Manchester United. All right? You had a free tap in. He ain't coming. We need a right winger. We didn't get any proven right winger. All right? We qualified for the Champions League. We needed better defenders. No fucking new defenders. Yeah? All right, we got to tell us, okay? But... We already had Luke Shaw, and we got a young up-and-comer <clears throat> in Brandon Williams, okay? Look, I would say we need a new left-back, okay? And I'm happy with the signing. I'm not complaining. But it wasn't a priority, yeah? We needed someone that can replace Matic, a new CDM. Fucking didn't get that. We signed a 33-year-old veteran, okay? in Cavani that hasn't played in seven months. And I'm not having a go at Cavani, okay? I hope he fucking kills it for us. But we're pinning our hopes against someone which it goes everything against our ethos that we just hated for the last couple of years, couple of years paying the big wages and what are we actually fucking doing here? It just shows me crystal clear. If the evidence wasn't in my first video to now to, now, to today, that this board is fucking clueless. These owners have no ambitions. Edward Wood, the CEO, hasn't got a fucking clue. And I don't blame him, okay? In that video, I was fired up. I was angry. But I don't fucking hate him. I, I, now, I do not hate him. He is just not a fucking football man. These owners don't fucking love Manchester United like we do. What can I say, mate? What can I say? I've had enough. Nothing is going to change. Ollie is probably going to get sacked soon. And another manager becomes the fall guy. First, it was Van Gaal. Won an FA Cup. Seen progression. Sacked him. Only because Jose Mourinho was available. Okay? We had no structure. There was no long-term planning, sticking to it. Oh, Mourinho is available. Let's get him in, okay? So we bring in Mourinho, okay? Does well. By his own words, his best achievement ever was getting Manchester United to second. And looking back now, he was fucking spot on, Jose. Fucking spot on. Well, hey, get second, get Champions League, and we don't fucking back him. Sound familiar? The exact same fucking thing is happening with Ollie right now. 
The man should be fucking knighted for getting us third last year. Look at this team we have, and he got it to third. Got Champions League. Oh, we were only going to sign. Remember, Sancho was only going to sign if we made Champions League. What the fuck happened to that? Yeah, we're only going to sign good players if we qualify for Champions League. What a load of bollocks. Again, another manager is going to take the fall. I promise you now, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer won't make the end of the season, unfortunately. Pochettino is going to come in, or somebody else. And the same thing. He's going to make new signings. The club's going to go up. And then after a while, the club aren't going to back him. Going to keep going down. It's a vicious fucking cycle. I promise you now. I promise you one thing. These conversations that we're having now, which I was having back six years ago, were going to be happening again in another six years time. Unless the fucking Glazers sell the club. Unless we get some ambition about us from the top of this football club. The Glazers are fucking killing it. They are killing the heart and soul of this club. Please, for the love of fucking God, Glazers, fucking sell it. Sell the fucking club to someone who actually wants better for this club, for the fans. It's the fucking least what we deserve. You can buy any other fucking business in the world and make some money. Just leave this football club alone and sell it to someone who has a fucking ambition. Anyways, I've had a fuck enough. I've been your boy, Curtis. Wish you nothing but the best. Take care. Peace. Fuck these guys.